Linda here and today I'm going to talk about the use of unfulfilled dread as a su suspense technique. By that I mean dread that doesn't pay off in the way you expect it. So, so not like the sort of dread you have in a horror film but something rather different, more like positive anticlimax. It's something that's used in multi-plot structures like fractured tandem narrative quite, quite a lot and also in tandem narrative but today I'm going to talk about how it's used in a lin linear single protagonist film called Uncut Gems because I think it can teach us quite a lot about how to manipulate dread. Now normally in films threats come in sequence in a, in a linear fashion you know twists and turns reversals as per the one hero theory but in Uncut Gems, it comes from all sides unexpectedly. Uncut Gems, what a movie. It was so thrilling and suspenseful, I was out of breath at the end. <laughs> I had actually stopped breathing. So roll your sleeves up and let's get started at finding out how on earth this was done. All right, Uncut Gems. Uh, 2019 American crime thriller directed by Josh and Benny Safdie who co-wrote the screenplay with Ronald Bronstein. The film stars Adam Sandler and it's a Netflix movie. Adam Sandler is brilliant, fantastic, really you know an award-winning performance in my view but the script and direction that was excellent. Now regarding the script what I want to talk about is suspense techniques specifically this thing of dread. So let's lift the hook, hood, and look at how these guys do it. Let's lift the hook as well. The film doesn't just do um, cliffhangers as complications in the story, okay? It does dread. By that I mean it dangles you by the feet over the edge of a cliff, then you suddenly find things are moving on, so, you know, all must be okay or reasonably okay, so you're immensely relieved. Now take note of that. This dangling over the edge of disaster, then uh, dragging you back into uh, you know, a sort of positive anticlimax keeps happening. And the effect, and this is really interesting, the effect is amazing and increasing dread. Now I am getting really interested in how we can use dread in scripts and how a script can be really effective when what, uh, when what you were terrified of happening you know, doesn't <laughs> actually happen. You see, it really should be anticlimax, but if it's done well, it can be astonishingly powerful. So the trick in Uncut Gems seems to be you create a risk, a ticking clock, the possibility of disaster, you tell the audience that a specific terrible thing is likely to happen. Take them right to the edge of, of that cliff, then put, cut away from it. Okay, now cut away from it. Now, the different thing about the film is that most English language thrillers, and I think, you know, we have to notice that there are English language thrillers and thrillers from other places too, that the English language, language ones have one big ticking clock. You know, James Bond or various superheroes have to get the villain before he or she destroys the world. So you know, Uncut Gems is interesting because it keeps taking you to the edge of different cliffs. There are several ticking clocks, several different threats coming from different people, you know, each of which could you know, separately end in disaster. And it does everything at breakneck speed. Yes, it's a matter of rising jeopardy, as we all know there needs to be in thrillers, but it's this matter of different equally dangerous threats creating different dread then being narrowly avoided. Now, where I've seen Dread well used before is in slow or slowish films, like Mike Lee's films, or You and Me and Everyone We Know, and Babel, and also a lot of Estonian films. But in these, there tends to be one ticking clock, one threat, increasing one dread. For example, in that terrific Estonian war film, Tangerines, it's the possibility that the identity of a a couple of characters will be revealed and that will cause a bloodbath. So in war generally the dread is will the enemy get our heroic people and it's done in different ways. You know, similarly in Babel and You and Me and Everyone We Know 
it's different versions of the same threat causing dread, namely children or teenagers in danger. And we're relieved when all or some of them escape. Now see, Uncut Gems takes us to new heights of dread and suspense at great speed. So also the ending is a big shock. I won't spoil it for you. So watch it twice because the first time you'll be a nervous wreck <laughs> by the end if you're like me. I gather uh, Adam Sandler's got a Netflix deal to, to, to do four movies and you know uh, just one word to Adam and uh, to, to the whatever writers and uh, directors he has with him and uh, on the other three. Uh, can you please be careful because you know this <laughs> If it's anything like Uncut Gems, I'm going to have a heart attack. All right, take care, keep going um, with the writing and bye for now. Hope that was useful.